Out of Dakota, Magical weather cam shows clear skies or at least some clouds in the area, but otherwise decent weather. However, last night was not as good. We had severe thunderstorms rolling through our region overnight into this morning, leading not only to wind damage, even a couple of tornadoes to the west of our region, but also leading to flash flooding due to heavy rainfall. For example, this image sent to us by Olivia out at Bali City at 12 a.m. showed flash flooding in the area. So plenty of heavy rain coming down and this is exactly why we have some heavy rain, especially out in Stutzman County, but also some heavy rain out in the central portions of the Red River Valley and near Fargo, and that led to reports of flash flooding. And that was on top of the multiple other wind and storm reports that we saw. Most of the wind reports were in central heading into uh, central North Dakota, heading into the James River Valley, though we had some wind damage reports in uh, near Grand Forks. So pretty active past 24 hours basically. Uh, but thankfully though, we are expecting clearing skies tonight and tomorrow, a gorgeous Labor Day weekend ahead, and the nice weather will continue in the next week. Temperatures in the 70s across the region currently with that cold front moving to the east. Because of that front moving east, it's pushing all of the severe storms to the east of us, and as a result, aside from scattered cloud cover, we're looking pretty quiet across eastern North Dakota and most of northwest Minnesota. We do have some uh, active thunderstorms out in northeastern Lakes Country and an isolated cell that's just to the east of Alexandria, for example. But again, most of Lakes Country is looking pretty quiet as those uh, storms continue pushing east thanks to this low pressure system pushing the moisture into eastern Minnesota. So all the severe weather activity it's currently in central Minnesota and should stay away from us. High pressure out west will then settle in this weekend, leading to sunny skies. Again, any leftover storms should be done by 5 to 6 o'clock. So basically, we're looking pretty quiet for the most part as we head into the late evening hours. Expect a pretty quiet night ahead of us with any leftover clouds breaking up leading to clearing skies that will cause temperatures to drop into the low 50s by tomorrow morning. So expect another cool morning ahead of us. But by the afternoon, daytime heating takes hold, allowing temperatures to get into the upper 70s to low 80s. So ending the work week on a good note. Definitely go out and enjoy the nice weather if you can. The nice weather will continue well into next week as look at this. It's blank. And this is not a glitch. That's because we're not expecting any rain chances until next Wednesday and Thursday. So for the first time in a long while, our rain day graphic is basically showing nothing. Uh, temperatures decent too. L Sunday and Monday, Labor Day in the 70s. Uh, the rest of next week going to be in the low 80s. So it's going to be pretty uh, warm as we head into uh, next week. In short, mild morning, uh, followed by temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s during the afternoon hours. And looking at our 11 day planner, Labor Day forecast going to be fantastic, I promise. And then we'll be in the low 80s throughout the middle of next week, dropping back into the upper 70s towards the first weekend of September. Yes, yeah, so this weekend, yesterday, Joseph, you said picturesque. Yeah, We're still planning on that. It's, it definitely is looking pretty good. I mean, I think the sunsets are going to be great, especially with just a few clouds rolling through. Absolutely, absolutely, Demi. We love the viewers to send those our way as well. Uh, yeah, just. Yeah.